Hey guys, welcome to my new series. So this is Vault Hunters, and it is in the wonderful mod pack that Iskel has created for us, and it is so much fun already. I am having a whale of a time. Now what we're gonna do is show you everything about the mod pack as I play it through. This is an SMP, so there are other people on the server. As you can see behind me, there is certainly someone hanging around over there, but there are gonna be other people on the server as well. And whilst we will be doing some things on our own, some things as a group, some things as little groups, there are obviously different parts to the game. Now, Vault Hunters is very different to everything you've played before. Now, let me show you the main screen. So this is our stats screen, and you can see everything here from how much health I've got to how much armor I've got, uh, how much parry I've got, and all that kind of stuff. Now, this screen is the ability screen, and we're gonna use the skill points to use some of these, and we'll do that in a minute. But you've got some in here like Vein Miner. We know Vein Miner from better Minecraft. You've got Mega Jump. Dash, I'm quite excited about Ghost Walk Cleanse. This one, Summon Eternal, but we don't get that till near the end. But there's loads of stuff there. You've also got the talent screen. There's loads going on on this talent screen. There's a uh, twerker, which is going to be amazing. I'll show you that in a bit. We've got haste. We've got stone skin. Step. There's loads of stuff on here. But this one, this tab up here, that's the one that we're really excited about. So this is the one that unlocks the mods. So you can see here, this is the mod I'm particularly excited about because I love it. Create mod is in here. You've also got things like mining gadgets, vault looter, furniture. That one's a good one. Backpacks in here somewhere. Look, there's backpacks. That will be key to getting about. So there's loads to do in this mod loads to unlock it is really fun and i hope you're gonna enjoy the journey with me what we're gonna do is hook up with the other guys playing vault hunters and see what they are all gonna get up to and then we'll go and make a base so i want to in this first episode get some things done so we're gonna go and make a base we're gonna get some villagers we're gonna do the things that need to be done at the start of minecraft first of all we're gonna go meet the other people playing vault hunters with us and then we're gonna get into all of that but first, if you haven't already subscribed, please go and hit that subscribe button. I really, really appreciate it. And most of you aren't subscribed, so it really, really helps me out. And if you haven't already, leave a thumbs up for the algorithm because the algorithm really likes it. And it shows YouTube that you like the video. So I'd really appreciate that as well. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about the Vault Hunters mod pack. I think it's really fun. There's a link in the description to go and download it right now. Let's get straight into it. Let's go. The rules are... there are no rules. Okay. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, there are some rules, there are some rules! I have two ping! <laughs> I've changed my mind. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, have fun, guys. So are... I just set my oh, spawn, we're gonna move here. it again. Oh, it's so pretty! It's my like villager. a blue. My villager. <laughs> your villager. Are you picking them up, putting them in your pocket? I'm stealing them. I forget, how do you pick them up? You shift right click them. Don't shift left click them. That will hit. <laughs> oh, wait. I've only found one though. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you quick how to do some things in Vault Hunters uh, while the other guy's behind me. So we found this village obviously and we're setting up and I'm gonna show you quick how to do some really cool stuff. So you're gonna hit H first of all and head into this menu. Now I'm going to click on the abilities tab and then I'm going to click the first level of vein miner. Now I'm actually going to click on the second level of vein miner as well. So I do eight blocks at a time. So I'm going to click upgrade as well. The other thing I'm going to do is just head into the talent section and hit twerker and learn level one of that. And that will let me grow crops instantly by crouching near them. So just holding shift next to crops will make that work. The level two will obviously work on melons and pumpkins as well. And then level three, we're heading into cactus and sugarcane, which is amazing. But we're just gonna get level one for now. And uh, we can't do anything with this menu yet because we need research levels to do that. But that's cool all the same. And the other thing you've seen me do is pick up villagers. Now to do that, you shift right click them. So you crouch and right click them and you can pick them up. There are other things you can do with villagers as well, which I will show you in future episodes, but that's come some of the key stuff that you're going to need for this one. Precious cargo is in a chest. You just don't want to listen to them. Well, I don't want to listen to them, and I also just don't want to <laughs> like be carrying them and then die. 
Okay, guys, so we are still having a little hunt around to get stuff done, but I am in a village nearby to our house, and I have found this. Now, this is basically a shulker box, so I can put stuff in here like this. Let's put some stuff in here. Then we can mine it, and all that stuff will stay in the box. Oh. In my inventory. And then I can place it back down. And get all the stuff again. So if you find these when you're playing Vault Hunters, definitely grab them because they are really, really cool. And I'm getting a bit of lag here. But I'm going to take that one. That one's coming with me on my adventures. Let's keep looking around and see what we can find. Well, guys, we are all set up. And this is my lovely house, which we will get to in a second. But I'm going to give you a quick tour of the setup from the guys and what we've been up to. Now, this over here, I think, is Drax's house. And then I've got no idea whose houses these are. But we've got a few that we can see around. So this is Rabbit's house. And then we've got an iron farm on the go here. It's a very basic farm at the moment, but as you can see, an iron golem just popped in at the top there, and there he goes. So we will get lots of iron from that as a community. So all our farms, I believe, are community farms, and they are all going well. We have, look at the size of that tree. <laughs> That's huge. Uh, we've got houses everywhere, people building. There's a house in progress just there. And then we got trees everywhere. I do love the trees in this. I think we've been collecting them and adding new trees as we go. Don't know whose house this is, but it's yet another house. People, you need to label your houses. Right, over here we've got our nether portal set up and ready to go. And then over here we've got some more stuff. So we're all getting there already, and it's only episode one. So this is really, really exciting. There's a section over here. So this is our villager breeder. With a, a we've got a pedestal with a bed on it for some reason. So in there is the village reader. I'm not going to go in, but you can see them over there wandering about. And oh, there's loads of them in there. And then round here we have a villager trading hall and a couple of daybounders hanging around doing some trading. So we've got all the librarians on that side. There's farmers on that side. There's an iron golem in the wheat farm. I don't know why. And there is some more trees over this side. So yeah, guys, we've been up to a lot on Vault Hunter so far. We are moving very fast. We've got a couple of farms up already. Now, if you haven't already worked it out, farms are really important in Vault Hunters. Oh, I broke my shovel. So yeah, the farms are really important in Vault Hunters. Really, really important. So you're going to need lots of stuff. And you're going to find that when we get the Vault Hunter, which we were not going to do in this episode... There is no way I have the time to show you a vault altar yet. But we will try and get that done next time. And when we get to vault altars, you'll realize that we need loads of stuff in order to go vault raiding. So what we need to do is build all of the farms. So, so far we have built a couple. And I say we, not me. I haven't built any farms yet. But I will build some. At some point. I promise, guys. If you are also on Vault Hunters with me, I apologize for my lack of farms. But we've got a couple set up. We've got a villager farm, an iron farm, a bone meal farm. Obviously, we've got wheat farms. Now, I'll show you wheat farming in a minute because it's really important in Vault Hunters. So, you'll remember from just now in the video, I selected Twerker and I selected... Uh, vein miner. So I'll show you what both of those do in a second because they are both amazing. Now the other vault hunters cannot complain about my floor. It is done. Uh, my staircase leaves something to be desired and also there is no upstairs yet. But you could get this far. It will get there. Believe me guys, the house will get there. I, they always get there eventually. I just am very slow at progress. So one of the skills that I've got is Twerker and it should be in this one. So here it is here. So you saw me get that before and obviously we've got level one here which works on crops. Now this is crops. So what happens is I will crouch and then if I use my hoe, I can get lots of wheat like so and you can afk doing that and then that will get you lots of wheat now what i'd recommend you do is do this and then all you will pick up is wheat 
and you won't pick up any of the nasty wheat seeds that you don't want. Which is pretty good. That is pretty much what we are looking for. So that is Twerker. So it instantly grow things and it works on trees as well. So if I go and find a tree in a minute, we can show you that as well. Anyway, I'm going to stop doing this now. You get the idea. It's pretty cool. And that is what we're going to do. Oh, I'll show you what you do with your wheat then. So I'm going to come over to these guys over here. And they might have already been traded out. No, they haven't. So what you can then do is trade your wheat with these guys to get emeralds. There we go. And I got some. But obviously, that is sustainable. So you can keep doing that. And get as many emeralds as you need. And look at the bone meal farm going. Wow. Next thing I want to show you is my other trait that I got. Which is Vein Miner. Which is... Well, it's my favourite thing. If you've seen my Better Minecraft series, I use it in that all the time. So, it is pretty awesome. But what? Let me find a hole in the ground. So, if we get our pickaxe out, we hold G. Because, as you'll see, if I hold Alt, I can show you the selection screens at the moment i've only got vein miner 2 but if you had others you'd be able to select others here so i'm going to hold g which is my action button for this and it's the action button by, by default and then if i mine that one it mines all of them how cool is that that is my favorite talent and i think i prefer it on here to better minecraft because on better minecraft you hold shift if you don't want to do it whereas on this you hold g if you do want to do it that's my two skills that I've got already. Now we can see about getting ourselves some shiny diamond armor. Because I really need some diamond armor if we're going to go fight a dragon. Let's go. Hey guys, so as you can see, I am down in the mines. And I have found myself my very first vault rock. So I am going to show you that right now. So I have obviously been down here mining. And as you can see up there, there is a rock with like... It looks almost like cracks in it. So we're just going to grab that real quick and if i didn't have a full inventory it would help so let's get rid of something we don't care about cobblestone slabs there we go there's our first vault rock so that in the next episode when we build our vault altar we can get ourselves a vault crystal and then we can start doing vaults so these are going to be integral i'm going to see if i can get a few more let's crack on well, guys, that is it. The house is pretty much finished. I've done the upstairs now. I'm in full diamond armor. As you can see, lovely diamond armor. It needs a bit more enchanting before we go fight the dragon. But that is pretty much the end of episode one. We have also managed to get ourselves a vault rock. And we will try and get some more of those as well. And we have managed to have a vaguely okay house. It's not too bad at all. In the next episode, we are going to go fight the Ender Dragon. That will be our first priority. And then we'll get into a vault as well. So that will be super fun. But yeah, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, please hit the big thumbs up button if you enjoyed. And let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on Vault Hunters. And I'll see you next time for more Vault Hunters. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you soon. Bye.